A new cruise terminal is in the works at Port Canaveral. It's a move to meet the demand of the booming cruising industry. But it'll take years and hundreds of millions of dollars. Our Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heidler joins us live from the port this afternoon. Scott, once this is finished, it'll be more than just a benefit for people going on a cruise. Exactly. You know, it's going to take a while. That's because of the upgrades that are going to have to happen on many different levels here at the port for this expansion to take place. New Cruise Terminal 4, good news for cruisers, but the greater port community is expected to benefit as well. This as it'll get a lot busier. In this case, with the explosive growth that Port Canaveral has experienced over the years, when you add another terminal, you're adding thousands more uh, vehicles in and out. So that means major investment in infrastructure, parking and roadways. I mean, this will mean billions of dollars in new revenue for uh, Port Canaveral, uh, its local businesses, the hotels, the restaurants, uh, shops, and, and going forward. It's a major uh, employment opportunity for, you know, when they with dealing with the construction. Port leadership emphasizing that nothing currently at the port will be taken away as a result of the expansion. But there will be shuffling like Blue Points Marina. It'll be relocated as Cape Marina's lease will not be renewed. As many will be impacted by the expansion, Board of Commissioners looking to nail down details. It'd probably be good to see a timeline uh, at some point to say this is when Blue Point, the new Blue Point is going to come online. This is when the new terminal will be done. Uh, there's a lot of balls in the air, so I don't think we actually know those things right now. We're, we're at a starting point. Yeah, we're just at a starting point. A lot of changes to come. And yes, this expansion is for the booming cruise line industry. But it's also uh, the officials at the port here say it's going to better use, better way to use the facilities here on the port's property. Reporting live at Port Canaveral, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.